happening now. House Republicans are putting their offer on the table to cut the deficit and avoid the fiscal cliff. It calls for collecting an additional $800 billion in revenue over 10 years without raising tax rates. And that's balanced by the reduction of $800 billion of spending from federal programs. So lots of ins and outs there. We just tried to boil it down for you because in all, the Republican plan will cut the deficit by $1.6 trillion. So far... Democrats are uninspired by this. Here's what Democratic Congressman Chris Van Hollen of Maryland had to say last night on Special Report. The big difference, Brett, between the way the president has proposed to deal with Medicare and, and the Republicans, the Republican plan, their definition of reform is simply to pass rising health care costs onto the backs of seniors. Our view is you can modernize the Medicare system to change the incentives to move towards a system that's not strictly free for service. Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers of Washington State chairs the House Republican Congress. So, Congresswoman, is that what you're trying to do? You know, we are, we are about saving these entitlements. We, the Republicans believe that this is our moment to actually address some of the pressing problems that face America. And part of it is in the entitlement programs, making sure that we're saving them. Part of it is spending reform. Part of it is getting our economy growing. But in order to avoid having this debate again in just another few months, like we had just a year ago, and the one we're having over the fiscal cliff, is that we have to be willing right now to come to the table, have these negotiations. And uh, Speaker Boehner, the day after the election, signaled to the White House. He went to the podium and he said, we're willing to put tax revenue on the table, but we must have the spending, spending reductions and also the entitlement reforms. So the White House says they will not compromise unless we do see tax rates going up, at least for the wealthiest. What, what do you see the end result being? If that's the red line that they're drawing, what do you see as part of the compromise there if they say they must see those rates go higher? Well, it's a, it's a question as to whether, whether or not they're going to insist on those, the, that, those top 2% rates going up. It's really a straw man in this whole debate because even if we raised the top 2%, if we tax them at 100%, it would only fund the federal government for 91 days. This does not solve the problem, and we need, we need a real fix, not just the quick fix. And it comes through tax reform. It comes through also addressing the structural spending problems, the out-of-control spending. The president put on the table, he put on more taxes. He doubled the tax, new taxes and tax increases, and then he put more spending on the table, a new stimulus that is heading us in the wrong direction. So I'm just getting a, a lightning bolt wire that comes into our newsroom when news crosses, and apparently the president speaking to Bloomberg Television just moments ago, at least getting parts of this interview now, uh, says that Speaker Boehner's proposal on the fiscal cliff is still out of balance, and that that is the quote the president has given about the letter and the proposal that you sent to Capitol Hill. Realistically, when do you need to get a, a deal done to avoid the country from going off the fiscal cliff? I know there's limited days, but yes. when does an actual deal have to be done so then it gets through those logistical processes that we know need to be done in both the House and the Senate? The, the sooner we can get a deal, the better. Uh, Speaker Boehner, as I said, he, he, the day after the election, said, okay, we're, we'll put tax revenue on the table, let's start the negotiations. You know, this can be done. Uh, President Reagan and Tip O'Neill, back in the early 80s, they negotiated a deal to save Social Security and address tax reform and the other entitlement programs, the spending that was... Well, and, and on, if I could, yes. you know, Reagan famously said, trust but verify. Why should yes. we trust you? Why should we trust well, the lawmakers in office right now that they can do this? Well, and, and because I would say we're either going to succeed together or we're going to fail together, but it is so important because Congress has a history where we've seen taxes go up, but the spending side not addressed. And a balanced approach means that we're going to get the structural spending reforms in place that we need to address the, the debt. The, the debt is almost doubled under this administration, under President Obama, and that has to be a part of this. And that's where the Republicans are insisting that we have the spending cuts and the entitlement reforms that are going to get America on the right track moving forward. Congresswoman, it's such a big topic. So we, we only brushed the, the surface of it. We look forward to having you back so we can talk more about it. Thank you so much. Thank you.